All right, this is homemade set works on Easy Boardwalk Junior. This is a 570 ounce inch, five amp stepper motor from Automation Technologies. Uh, I got it mounted, mated to a 40 to one gearbox with a, I believe it's a 13 or a 11 tooth here and a 33 tooth here is what I have, which I need to increase the ratio because it's it's got plenty of torque and it's not very fast so i need to speed that up maybe a bigger sprocket here or smaller one here then the this is abandoned in place i got a wood clamp on the brake to hold it open the old hand wheel crank method with the final drive going up to the garage door spring assist and i have made a homemade cable carrier Take the wires back and forth. It helps if the wires are more flexible, but it works pretty good. And have it all have it wired up on a, on a switch. You turn it on. Something didn't work. There it is. Has the relative height, or that's actually the the distance you want to move relative. And the saw head height, and what the two programmable buttons hold. These are programmable for dis whatever distance you want. You set a distance with these buttons, and then hold this button down long enough, and it'll hold that that value. They increment by you know it's multiple of multiplied by two going up so it's eighth in, or sixteenth eighth quarter half one two and these are for building material two by four by six by and eight by and a four quarter and five quarter button the programmable distance buttons up or down switch and a cancel zero if you enter the wrong distance this is a home button I need to get some stickers to either take it you can use it as a go-to button, like you put in, say you're cutting ties, you put in seven, and then hold this button down and it, it serves a go-to function. It'll go, wherever the saw head's at, it'll go to seven inches. Then you can put in nine, you can program this for seven and this for nine, then use the go-to button for ties. This is the go button, execute whatever you have stored in the, in the numbers. And let's try it out. Saw heads at. Guess I need some light in here. See if I can turn the lights on and help. So I had it one. There's a little line right there. It's hard to see on the camera. But yeah, uh, you just hit. Say, say you want to go up four inches. Make sure the switch is on up. Hit the two button twice. It's in motion. Should stop on five. Yeah, see that? I have a, there's a 48 volt, I wanna say it's a 7.3 amp power supply, AC to DC power supply mounted in here with a, an Arduino Uno for the brains of the operation. And uh, I believe it's a 50, something stepper motor driver from automation technologies and it's probably not up to code but that's a five amp power supply for the arduino i just have it spaded 220 120 volts running to it and then the five volt coming out going to the arduino this is how you this is hooked up to the arduino if you need to do any code revisions and 
fix something that's doing wrong, you just plug it into the laptop and away you go. Uh, do the, the home button without holding it down. The bottom position, if it's set to down, is one inch and the top I have set at 27. So just hit the, put it on down and hit the home button and it should go down to one inch. Like I said, I do need to speed it up a little. Slippery. And then with the, so you want to go to three inches, get the, the two button and the one button, and then hold go to for a certain amount of time. Might need to make it shorter, I don't know. And it should go to three inches. Yeah. Well, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it.